So after the great success of uh, Chandrayaan 3 and uh, Aditya, which is still ongoing, uh, what are the next uh, things that one must expect from ISRO as far as space uh, program and other things are concerned? See, if you really look at the activities of ISRO, we have been all the more focusing on operational systems like launching communication satellites, remote sensing satellites, meet the national demands, uh, then do some science missions as an offtake of all of this. No, they were occurring uh, pe very short period, you know, very long periodicity. Typically, two years, three years, we had one mission like Chandrayaan three. But this has given us a great confidence. No, we must continue to do the exploration, scientific missions in much more frequent manner, and also set higher goals. No, not just go to moon and do some landing, but set higher goals. Then the question is, what are those higher goals? Uh, the question is that uh, we have we have one track called Chandrayaan track. No, we have done Chandrayaan one, Chandrayaan two, Chandrayaan three. We also did Mangalayan one. We did. We also did AstroSat. We are going to do ExpoSat. There is yet another track which is called Human Space Flight Track, where we are going to send human beings to space. We are also looking at the reusability, etc. So, can we fuse all of these ideas into one unique idea in which humans pay, humans will one day go to moon and land? Why not India think about it? How do we really put a space station in orbit tomorrow? Why can't you do docking on a space and then uh, look, imagine little more stronger you know, ideas in space than what we are telling do small, small things? So we have been, we are enthused by the success to do, to imagine even those type of things. And with the capability that we have today and the type of capability that we are likely to develop in the next few years from now, we are envisioning that we should be sending a space station soon to orbit, which is just not for show. show. It is it's actually for a scientific objective. We, know, we realize that going to space station, doing robotic activity is so crucial for industries. It is to make new materials, it is to do medical synthesis, maybe organ printing in 3D, or continuous R&D on uh, human habitation uh, there, etc. Gaganyan is anyway going to happen, but Beyond Gaganyan, what? Whether it will be sustained, continued as a continuous human space flight program? This question we are asking. And how to sustain and why to sustain? This answer should come. And if you have to merge this Chandrayaan program to Gaganyan program and convert it into a human space flight to moon and land, maybe in the Amrit Kal 2047, mm -hmm. then it is a great thing. Correct. So we thought that why don't we work on it? So it, it requires a continued exploration of moon and generate more and more indigenous capability to go to moon and come back. So the HOPE experiment which we did recently is a precursor to that thought process. After landing softly, if you are able to take off and come back to earth. Hmm. So I, I am asking this question to our own team. Why don't we do that? Why don't we come back to earth? So we are working on how to do it in very short time. How to bring some samples from moon to earth and then uh, do scientific studies scale it up to a level that we can actually send a robot to moon, do some exploration, bring back uh, more scientific outcome. Maybe a few years from now, an Indian will definitely land on the moon. There is no doubt about it. Idu Asianet News Network Prastuti. New Noor Tidira Asianet Suvarna News.